been a hot start for Marquette men's basketball as the squad has yet to lose in the new Pfizer form. It was an even hotter performance for junior guard Marcus Howard as he finished with seven threes on the night. Game, you know, Coach Wojo and I have talked a lot about, you know, me continuing to be aggressive, um, you know, me transitioning to playing the point guard position this year. Um, he still wants me to maintain being aggressive. So um, I think just my approach each and every game when I come out from when the ball gets in the air is to be aggressive. And um, I don't think I've lost that. I just think, you know, I have to continue to do that. And my teammates do a great job of reminding me to maintain that aggressiveness throughout the game. It was an overall team effort for the Golden Eagles as almost every player seemed to have an impact on the court. According to head coach Steve Wojciechowski, one of those important playmakers happened to be Ed Morrow. Turned it over, and we had a we had about three guys on the court quit on the play, and we had one guy who didn't, and his name was Ed Morrow. And that was one of the best plays I've had a player make since I've been the coach at Marquette. From the Pfizer Forum, Megan Rock, Marquette Wire Sports. The Golden Eagles are flying high after upsetting number 12 Kansas State 83-71. The squad has yet to lose a game at Pfizer Forum. Junior guard Marcus Howard led the Golden Eagles as he finished with 45 points, which is second to his career high 52. Despite having a rough 72 hours prior to the game, Howard sank 19 free throws, which broke a men's basketball record for free throws made in a game. That he was born to score? Um. No, he, Marcus is a very, very unique player, and he's got a, he and Sam on our team have an incredible amount of responsibility. After his final appearance on the court, Howard and Coach Wojciechowski shared a moment as they embraced on the sideline. I told him I was really proud of him, you know, to have the last 72 hours that he's had and to come out in a, obviously a huge game. Our first sold out, I don't know if it was sold out exactly, but it felt sold out. Uh, and to deliver on the stage like that, the way he did, was, was uh, something that made me real proud, proud to be his coach. According to Wojciechowski, the aggressive environment at Pfizer Forum added to Howard's outstanding performance. Uh, because every, every one of these games is, is huge. And uh, you were, our fans were a huge part of our win today. The Golden Eagles now prepare to host University of Texas El Paso Tuesday night. Tip-off is set for 7.30 p.m. Alongside Jack Phillips, Megan Rock, Marquette Wire Sports. Frustration ran deep through Marquette basketball Sunday. And on Marcus Howard's birthday of all days, the junior guard finished with 33 points on the afternoon. But this wasn't the only highlight for Howard. He surpassed former teammate Andrew Rousey and Marquette legend Dwayne Wade for the all-time single-season scoring record. He now sits third in program history with over 1,800 career points. But right now, this record means nothing to Howard. Honestly, all I'm thinking about right now is that we didn't win the game. So, I mean, it's great, but uh, I just wanted to win. And not being able to do that is kind of disappointing. Marquette fell to Creighton 66-60 at Pfizer Forum. This is the second and largest loss in the new venue. Back-to-back -back Big East losses for the Golden Eagles have come as a result of poor ball control. The team has a combined 40 turnovers in these matchups, and 30% of Marquette's possessions have ended in a giveaway. At Villanova and, and Creighton in a different way today, I mean, uh, with their traps, um, they make running offense harder and what, which that's what teams are supposed to do. And so if somebody makes running offense harder on you, you have to work harder, you have to be stronger, you have to be more fundamentally sound. Foul trouble from Marquette's big men down low has also been a factor in the losses. Uh, you know, I mean, Ed and Theo have been really good players for us and, and obviously they're key parts to, to our defense and um, foul trouble is part of the game. But Wojo acknowledged the team's lack of preparation was solely on him. Whether it's hard or not, in order to win in March, you have to do hard things. And so um, I have to prepare our team to do hard things better. The Golden Eagles will try to end a two-game conference losing skid when they travel to Seton Hall Wednesday to face the Pirates at 5.30 Central Time. From Pfizer Forum, I'm Megan Rock, Marquette Wire Sports.